As kids, and even through adulthood, we've often dreamt of exploring far-off lands in search of mystical or magical treasures of untold wealth and power. It's cool, load up. Anything you can find in your pocket. But how far would you be willing to go? And how much danger would you be willing to encounter on hearsay, rumor, or a gut feeling? All of the following real people were killed attempting to gain prestige, wealth, or power in search of treasures that may or may not have existed. Number one, Juan Ponce de Leon. Juan Ponce de Leon was a Spanish explorer and conquistador. He has long been associated with his quest for the legendary Fountain of Youth. Ponce de Leon first came to the Americas at the age of 19 on Christopher Columbus's second expedition. In 1513, he set off for further exploration, reaching the coast of La Florida, which he named during his first voyage to the area. Legend has it that Ponce de Leon was in search of the mysterious Fountain of Youth, a life-giving fountain which Europeans had been whispering about long before Ponce de Leon. During this final trip to Florida, Ponce de Leon and his party had a run-in with the native Calusa people, who took exception to the Spanish presence and attacked. During the melee, Ponce de Leon was struck by a poison-tipped arrow and died, having never found the mysterious Fountain of Youth. Number 2. Percy Fawcett Lieutenant Colonel Percy Harrison Fawcett was a British surveyor, archaeologist, geographer, cartographer, and explorer who disappeared searching for the lost city of Z. On April 20th, 1925, Percy, his eldest son Jack, and a longtime family friend Raleigh Rimmel set off into the uncharted Grosso jungle region of Brazil in search of the fabled lost city of Z. The party also included two Brazilian laborers, two horses, eight mules, and a pair of dogs. On May 29, 1925, Fawcett wrote to his wife that they were ready to go into the unexplored territory with only Jack and Raleigh. They were reported to be crossing the Upper Zingu, a southeastern tributary river of the River Amazon. This would be the last time the party was ever heard from again. Percy, Jack, and Raleigh vanished, never to be seen again. Number 3. Robert Rustle. Robert Rustle was an excavator lured to Nova Scotia's enigmatic Oak Island in 1959 after hearing about a legendary pirate's treasure buried there. This treasure was allegedly placed in a series of booby trap tunnels that were meant to flood if tampered with. On August 17, 1965, he was working to seal a storm drain when faulty equipment began filling the shaft with poisonous fumes, causing Robert to become unconscious. Robert's teenage son tried to save him but lost consciousness as well. Two other workers went down the tunnel to rescue father and son, but only one of the workers came out alive. Local legend has it that seven people must die before the Oak Island treasure will be revealed. Restle and his team make six. Number four, Adolf Ruth. Adolf Ruth was an amateur explorer who was obsessed with locating the storied Lost Dutchman Mine, which was rumored to hold the 19th century prospector Jacob Walt's hidden riches. Ruth had gotten hold of some maps that indicated the location of the mine was in the Borrego Desert area of San Diego County. In 1919, Ruth and his son headed out to the California desert looking for the loot, but only found tragedy as Ruth fell from a steep ravine, fracturing his femur, which resulted in a permanent limp. In 1931, a lucky, or perhaps not so lucky, discovery of an unnoticed map led Ruth into the superstition mountains of Arizona. Alone, Ruth set off into the superstitions and vanished without a trace. The following winter, his skull was found with two bullet holes in it. Later, his body was found, along with other personal effects, to include his unfired revolver. Authorities believe he was murdered for the map which was nowhere to be found. So how far would you be willing to go to find treasure? Tell me about it in the comments below. Speaking of treasures, check out this video. A poor farmer in Colombia found $600 million of Escobar's drug money.